Hey, I'm Dan Ray with IT Security Guru here on London South Bank, and behind me is HMS Belfast, which uh, here in 2015 on uh, March 12th is the setting for the Cyber Security Challenge Masterclass uh, Vinyl, basically where they decide who wins this year and who sits alongside the four other winners, this being the fifth year, uh, alongside uh, previous winners including students, a postman, even a pharmacist, and uh, who is going to take the uh, the crown of the Cyber Security Challenge for 2015. Now, in previous years, we've seen a lot of companies get involved with it, from private industry, from law enforcement to the private sector, really well supported. So we're expecting really quite an interesting uh, gathering of people inside who have entered it. There's you know, prospects at the end of training, of certifications, and hey, maybe even a job in uh, cyber security in the realm, uh, if you are generally interested, of course. Uh, hopefully we're going to see uh, quite a range of people, good gender balance, we hope, range of ranges as well. And um, yeah, well, let's have a look inside and see what's going on. And in fact, what you're going to see is the Cyber Security Challenge and a consortium of cyber experts led by BT, but including GTHQ, National Crime Agency, Lockheed Martin, Airbus Group, PGI, C3IA, and Palo Alto Networks. And what we're really doing, and you can see that's a big pool of, of experts, is putting the next generation of potential cyber talent through their paces. And that's really the point of the competition. And it really represents, I suppose, the culmination of, of 10 months' worth of qualifying rounds within the Cybersecurity Challenge. And those rounds are aimed at finding those talented potential cyber defenders. And the idea of the competition, really, is that they will have a chance to tackle what I think is probably the most realistic and largest cyber attack simulation for civilians ever run in the UK. So here we are on board HMS Belfast, and uh, in one room is the uh, main Cyber Security Challenge Masterclass. They're, they're battling a uh, terrorist group called the Flag Day Associates. You might have read about those on IT Security Bureau's and what we've been doing. Another room is like an industrial control system uh, challenge, as we'll call it, uh, where they're identifying vulnerabilities, basically doing a more pen testing challenge. So one is kind of on, on the sort of defense of the network, the other one is more on pen testing. So really to bring the skills together and what we're finding quite interesting is that the uh, the teams they're working together as people of different range of ages one from we talked to is um, a guy who was 36 and he said something about how the difference between someone who's 18 and all the technical well. differences and where they've done work some sort of university and yeah, it's really kind of focus this year on like soft skills people are trying to learn a bit more about how to work together as a team and you know, communication is a very big key so um, it's very interesting, so I'm going to show you a quick view of what we are seeing inside those two rooms. So now with Nigel Harrison, who's one of the directors of the Cyber Security Challenge. Um, Nigel, how's this year's process been, you know, the fifth year of the challenge? Has it been a bit better year, do you think? It's been a really good year. Um, we've had uh, much uh, larger numbers of people registering. We've got now over, over 18,000 people registered on our website um, for competitions. We had 7,000 start of the year uh, this year, and we're now down to the final 42. So it's been a, uh, a great year of competitions, uh, some really good challenges that have, uh, uh, they've been facing, and we have certainly got the uh, uh, the toughest masterclass that we've ever seen in five years we've been going. Okay, and are the, do you think the skills are getting better year on year, that what you're seeing? Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Um, we're getting uh, better technical skills, um, and we're also getting better uh, soft skills. Uh, that's something we put a real lot of emphasis on. It's not just technical skills that we're under the testing. We are testing people's soft skills. Their, their ability to teamwork, their ability to brief, their ability to prioritise, um, all those sorts of things. And we're seeing that much better in spades now. So the people who are coming through are really job ready. Those who are floating to the top of these 42, they are ready to go straight into industry, to, into good jobs and will go, be good ambassadors for the challenge and good ambassadors for their own uh, new equipment. Thank you very much. Thank you.
So that was part of the Cybersecurity Challenge Masterclass for 2015 and um, at the time of filming and at the time of actually editing and putting this video online we, we still won't know who the winner is, they'll be announced Friday night at an event and um, well, it's a real positive thing once again, you know, as I said earlier on, the fifth year of the Cybersecurity Challenge, another winner will be crowned, who knows what they are, uh, who they are at this stage, um, or what their background is. and. Hopefully what you're seeing, if you're interested in this sort of area, think about entering, you know, there's a big range of, uh, of ages of people here. And hopefully, you know, people are going to get into the cyber area and there'll be job, there's jobs going, so why not take one of them? So everyone we talk to does recommend that you enter, so why not enter? You know, things will be open soon, we'll be announcing it here on IT Security Guru. So uh, for the moment, thanks for watching and um, IT Security Guru, I've been Dan Raywood and uh, keeping up the challenge.